What's up everyone, good morning, uh, happy Monday. Uh, today is May 18th at 8.14 a.m. Uh, so for those that don't know, I do a free video watch us every single Monday on YouTube and about every day or every other day I do this for the members. So uh, before I start, uh, I kind of want to talk a little bit about this SRNE, right? So uh, as a lot of people know, trading has become the hot thing that everyone is talking about. I think E-Trade and TD Ameritrade have been having like record amounts of accounts opening or something, something insane, right? So because of that, there's been a lot more opportunity, right? There's been a lot more crazy stocks going up. There's been a lot more crazy stocks going down. Lately, it seems like everything on the short side has been working incredibly. You short something, it goes fucking straight down. But on the chances that it doesn't, you get a move like SRNE that goes from 250 to fucking 1050 in two days, right? And this is what we call black swan. Another example of a black swan is stocks like BLPH, right? Let's see. Is it BLPH? Yeah, where it goes from 21 to fucking 65. You have stocks like Dries, which is obviously the famous one. You have stocks like AWX. All right, let me pull back up. These are black swan stocks, guys. They go from $2 to $20 and then they fucking crash. But until they crash, you know, you get destroyed, right? You get fucking destroyed. So the thing that we have to make note of on these kind of plays, what I've learned is I've blown up some ETRM. Like these fucking stocks, this one doesn't even fucking trade anymore. But there's so many different stocks. Um, what else is there? I think, yes, DCIX was another one. All these crazy stocks, guys, are blow-up machines, right? They're fucking blow-up machines. Look at this shit. Right? It's the same fucking pattern over and over again. Pump and fucking dump, right? Pump and fucking dump. Pump and fucking dump, right? So because of that, I've learned that stocks like SRNE are way, way, way too hard, right? Way too hard. Oftentimes avoiding these stocks is the right way to trade these stocks the problems occur when we have it right smack dab in the middle of our faces it goes up it goes down it goes up it goes down and then it's just human nature to dip your toes in a little bit and that's what ends up screwing you so my advice on something like SRNE, my advice on these black swan short squeeze crazy fucking plays is take it off your screens, right? Take it off your screens because the longer it is on your screen, the longer you will be tempted to trade it. And the longer you're tempted to trade it, the more time or the more chances you have of actually fucking trading it. So for me personally, I am avoiding it, avoiding it, avoiding it on the short side. Eventually, maybe it might have a short trade, but I am looking for easier setups. If I am a trader of six years and is avoiding it on the short side, why should you, a trader of six days, be trading it, right? Think about it, guys. Think about it. These rules that we created, this process that we created is used to help you, right? These are mistakes that I lost hundreds of thousands of dollars on. Bao lost hundreds of thousands of dollars on so that we could learn it, right? So we made the mistakes so you don't have to fucking make them. So please listen to the warnings. You know, being an MIC at this time is essential because we are helping each other stay safe. So if you are struggling, you know, hit up Tosh and we'll see what we could do for you. But honestly... These days are the most important days because these are the days that will separate a new trader from an experienced trader. A new trader will go in and just try to fucking trade it because they think they're an expert. An experienced trader has lost on it in the past and has learned from it. So let's fucking start. GNUS. So I think a lot of people are going to be forgetting about this stock now that we have SRNE moving and so many crazy setups, right? So for me personally, uh, ideally we get a push towards this 160 level. And we get a push towards this 170s level, too short. BLIN, this is also a low hanging fruit. Um, hopefully, we get a pop towards this 170s ish, uh, give or take, kind of like 180s and two bucks, right? Always draw your lines. Hopefully, we pop up uh, that high. Um, what else is there? ACB, I actually really like this setup. Uh, if you look at the daily chart, this is a recent reverse split on a piece of shit company, right? It went from five to 15 in three days, one, two, three. So usually there's a three day rule where stocks like to pull back after three days of a parabolic move. So what I'm looking for on this one is boom, the chart is already forming pre-market, right? It's already forming pre-market, it's downtrending, right? So what I see on a setup like this is I see a push towards kind of this 14 line um, too short. 
Ideally, we get a washout under 13, and then we can look to short a bounce towards this 1350 mark. So I like this ACB, a little bit of a higher price stock, so I have to use less size because it's not in my niche, right? So just trying to be careful here, but I like the fact that the chart is forming already. YCBD, again, this is another chart that's forming pre-market. So hopefully we get a pop towards VWAP or we get a pop towards kind of 180s in the morning, too short. And last but not least, SRNE. Who the fuck knows what this is gonna do? Who the fuck cares what it's gonna do? All I know is that it's gonna be an attention whore. It's gonna take every. It's gonna take the attention off every single thing. So all we have to do as traders is focus on other stocks while all the experts, aka rookies, idiots, trade this shit and blow up, right? Don't be one of these guys that's trading this just because it's the hot chick of the day or the hot stock of the day or you want some action. Oftentimes, the least amount of action, the least amount of stress, the least amount of work yields to the most amount of profits. So good luck, guys. Uh, I'm gonna put a secret word at the end of this video. Uh, the secret word is gonna be S-R-N-E, right? So just keep that in mind, avoid this shit, and let's kick some ass together. It's gonna be a great week, guys. We're gonna have a ton of sympathy plays this week.